Well, um, I really don't want to be first, but uh, I'll just throw a few things out there, okay? Uh, they did actually uh, get us some questions uh, that they thought that you would be interested in, and so I have a cheat sheet full of notes here. And uh, I won't go through my notes, but I will tell you generally that Bear County went from zero to 60 miles an hour starting in about 2004. Prior to that, there was no department that handled facilities uh, that had professionals working in it. So we started uh, <clears throat> behind the curve, um, below grade. Uh, we couldn't even see daylight. And we assembled a team, and uh, it's a small team, but we're formidable. And we have sought to improve all of the county facilities all of its standards of practice, um, the training available to everyone, and we always have more to do. And we learn from each of you every time we have a project. So we appreciate all of you uh, sharing with us and uh, providing us with information and ideas and helping us move our building program forward. Our building program doesn't consist of just design and construction. We look at the entire life cycle of a building. So facilities maintenance also comes under our facilities department. And we look at uh, green standards for our maintenance as well. So I will tell you that the uh, first <coughs> LEED certified silver building that the county constructed is the Paul Elizondo Tower. I'm sure all of you have seen that. And we did that with a great deal of interest and commitment. It was the result of a policy that Commissioner's Court adopted in 2007. It took us from 2004 to 2007 to get a policy in place. And the policy says that all new construction and renovations will be LEED Silver certified. And we learned a lot of lessons uh, going through LEED Silver certification. And what we found is that there are some really important things to do with regards to sustainability that aren't necessarily connected to being LEED Silver certified. So not all of our uh, projects are LEED Silver certified. And the big one, of course, is the Paula Lizondo Tower. And uh, with me here also is Oscar Cervantes, the county architect. And he leads the design and construction program under facilities. So we have methodically set about changing all of our buildings. And we have a wide variety of buildings in Bear County. We have very small buildings with uh, simple systems, uh, about 8,000 square feet, I believe, for the fire marshal's building. And then we have our elephant in the living room, which is nearly a million square feet, and that's our jail. So as you can imagine, not, uh, you have to do different things with different buildings. And with our jail, we're going full-blown BIM, and we're doing a lot of things that we aren't necessarily doing with the fire marshal's building. But the end result is that we looked through the county for low-hanging fruit. We've done lighting retrofits, HVAC replacements, HVAC controls, upgrades. We installed solar PV systems on the Paula Lizondo Tower, the Cadena Reeves Justice Center, and on top of our new South Floors garage. We also have the largest in Texas solar hot water heating system on the jail annex and a smaller solar hot water heating system that is on the roof of our juvenile detention center. And in the end, between the year 2005 and 2012, we have some results that we've measured. We have saved in kilowatt hours, 17.4 million kilowatt hours. That has resulted in uh, cost savings in electrical costs of over $1.2 million. Our natural gas costs have been reduced by over $450,000. And our total cost avoidance 
in that span of 2005 to 2012 is 1.7 million. And we got onto the CPS bandwagon very early and uh, started applying for rebates. And to date, we have received one-time rebates of almost 1.3 million. So we've been methodical and detailed, and we've pursued everything that makes sense. Um, we did uh, um, take that trip out into LEED Silver certification, and we learned a lot of lessons, and we haven't gone there since, but we may go there again. So that's a, a summary of what we have been doing and what we are really interested in from you as professionals is we want you to continue to help us out, uh, to continue to work together. Architects, engineers, and uh, contractors all need to be on the same page with regards to green building and green design. We want to do things that are practical and get results. We want to look at things in a comprehensive way, uh, approaches that will extend through the entire life cycle of the building. And we want to apply BIM to uh, the life cycle of the building as well, when BIM is applicable to a building. We're looking for life cycle cost analysis uh, with using real world data. And we also uh, learned a lesson that we would like to start doing commissioning uh, as early as possible on each system, step by step. Um, we're finding that uh, if you commission at the end, there's a lot of things that are missed. And so that's one of the areas that we want to start working on. So we believe that the county, the commissioners believe that the county ought to be providing some leadership in the world of sustainability. Commissioner Addison was the first one out there. Um, and when we started getting the kind of results that I reported to you, the other commissioners uh, began to be very supportive as well. In some areas, we think that it is the responsibility of a public agency to implement new things and new technologies, even spend the money on a solar PV system so that we can advance that technology, even though it may not be, um, uh, the return on investment may, may take many more years than anyone uh, would really hope that it would. And then we also want to set an example for other counties. And I want to challenge all of you with something that uh, is my personal goal. Someday, I would like to commission our 19th century 268,000 square foot courthouse. So we're chipping away at that, and Sal is helping us with that right now. Thank you.